Isabella Garcia Shapiro from Fitness and Verb, and I just wanted to ask you, what you doing? Hey guys, what you doing? Nikki Novak here for Young Hollywood. We're about to chat with the cast and creators of Phineas and Ferb here at the Disney D23 Expo. Let's go. When you walk the streets, how many people are like, Phineas? I mean, if I'm at like Disneyland or I'm at obviously the D23 Expo, that's what people freak out about. It's like, oh my goodness, it's Phineas Flynn. You know what I love? That I, I can call you doof and get away with it. You can call me doof and get away with it. A lot of people do. It's just so refreshing to be able to call somebody kind of a name, not get mad. On top of that, you gave me blame. We did, it's Perry the Platypus. There he is. That's very stylish. He goes with what you're wearing phenomenally well. So the show is all about Phineas and Ferb. Every day is like the best day ever. Dumb. In your life, what would happen that you would say, this is the best this day ever. the best ever. day ever. Oh my gosh, I would be on stage with Janet Jackson. <laughs> we would be singing and she would look into my eyes and say she loves the way I sing her song. Skydiving while fighting crime, while also winning an Academy Award, landing after the skydiving into a concert with Paul McCartney that I then get to play in. So congratulations on the Marvel crossover, guys. Oh, thank, thank you. you very much. And the phenomenal success of the show. You are the creators and the voices of the show. Listen up. Mom's on a walking tour of Danville, and Dad's tinkering in the basement, so I'm in charge. That means no shenanigans. Hey, Spider-Man. So I'll be over at Stacy's all the, the, the day. Sup? Favorite Marvel character that you're going to have on? There's Iron Man. If you could be any of them. Spider-Man. You'd be Spider-Man? For me, is Spider-Man. Who would you be? That's Iron who I grew up with. I, There's a lot I of Iron Man here. Tony Stark. I think he's great. He's just, it's all his brain and attitude. Tell me which one you'd be. Thor, Hulk, Spider-Man, or Iron Man? Which one would you be? None of the above, because I'd like to date Thor. <laughs> and I'm scared of Hulk. I don't want to be him. Um, I would be Phoenix, a female superhero in Marvel. Oh, I love it. Um, I'd probably be Iron Man. I mean, he's still uh, Is it the money? He's still a genius. I was going to say genius, not a billionaire, but that, I mean, that, that's a plus too, I guess. So I, I like that a lot, is, is that he still has the brains. Yeah, because Spider-Man takes off the suit. He's just a nerd, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he, he creates some pretty cool stuff too, like creates the web shooting stuff. I like the sense of humor. There's a lot of comedy in the, in the, in the Spider-Man stuff. I love that he was in high school and he had this, this uh, double life. And now you're just getting cocky. You're doing a Star Wars crossover too? I'm, well, we, we are you know, getting we cocky. We are there. I think we are. We are, we are getting cocky. officially cocky now? Yeah, I don't yeah, know if okay. we're getting cocky. I think we've been cocky for a People while. People who know us know and that we've been cocky we for years. that's how we convince them. Who is your favorite Star Wars character? I cannot answer that question because I have not seen really Allison's like never seen it. Did you know that? <laughs> it actually doesn't surprise me. She hasn't seen a lot of movies. Okay. I, I'll make like a lot of references in front of her and she'll be like, what's that? I'll be like, uh, it's called The Godfather. <laughs> so who is your favorite Star Wars character? Um, I really like Han Solo. For him, it's Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks is, uh, don't, don't, don't let that get out. <laughs> <laughs> I think Yoda for me, but in, in the original movie, pr probably Han Solo. So on the show recently, there was a food episode, something about an evil sandwich and evil food. When you go to Subway, what is your sandwich of choice? I get the works. You do? Yeah, because it's simple way to phrase what you want, and they know the deal, and then probably like a balsamic vinegar, or vinaigrette. BMT. That was quick. Yeah, no. I like the uh, turkey, ham turkey and Swiss. Wheat bread, but you gotta make sure you ham get it with the avocado. Cheese. I get the spicy Italian. Oh, you're a spicy kind of guy. I'm a spicy yeah, kind of guy. You like spicing it up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm spicy. <laughs> so you load the meat, you load it all up? Oh, I'll, I'll get grilled chicken, but the veggies. Okay. I need all my veggies. Well, that's healthy. Yeah. That's a healthy way to do it. And I'm allergic to cheese, but I like the herbs and cheese bread. So the waffle and nader, it was your, well, your character's creation, this waffle and nader here, this 40 foot waffle and nader. Yes. Did you hit the waffle and nader this morning? Yes, the waffle and nader and I are not friends yet because <laughs> I didn't have access to enough resources to win, and I'm really competitive. But my accuracy is there. I wasn't very good at it. I may have been the worst person playing it while I was playing it. I think Allison was doing way better than I was. And Drake Bell was right next to me and like doing real well. Yeah, but I'm not intimidated. Nor should you be. Yeah, I got it next time. If you guys 
could invent anything that hasn't been invented yet. What does this world need that has not been invented yet? Well, I would just do like the Heal the World app, and you can buy Heal the World app on your iPhone or something and be like, hey, poverty, gone. Hunger, gone. It's hard to top the waffle nighter. I mean, it shoots <laughs> actual waffles. Um, I was just having a conversation about this the other day. I'm still waiting on hover cars. I'm still waiting on that. We've been waiting. And We've been waiting. Wasn't it supposed to be like 2015? That's yeah. only a few years ago. Come away. on, Christopher Lloyd. Get on it. I think the one innator that Doofenshmirtz has never made that he should make is, is the take over the tri-state area innator. Because it seems then, like a no-brainer. Then you just have to fire it once and he'd be done. So being that you're such a great dancer, what can you teach me? Um, OK, are you ready? Yeah. Since we have, can you can you switch hands? Here yeah. Hold, OK. So we're going to take the, the finger. OK. We're going to pop the chest out. And then we're gonna work this knee. I don't know if we can do this. Oh yes, we can. <laughs> then we're gonna go shoulder, elbow, then back up the shoulder, chest. So you just follow the finger. So it's pop, 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 pop. Or you can honky tonk it. But I saw something on your Twitter. I know you doodle all the time, and you're yes. you're you're tweeting pictures of your doodling while this doodling. You doodled with soy sauce. I do. If I'm at a uh, sushi place by myself and they just give me that plate, or sometimes when I'm with somebody else, I'll dip the chopstick in the soy sauce and I'll paint with the soy sauce. It was art. I mean, you should have somehow try to preserve that. You well, that that's why I take the pictures. <laughs> I take the pictures. You guys pitched the show. It's phenomenally successful. I read you pitched the show for 13 years before it ever got made, but you stuck with it. Advice to people who are, you know, want to be animators and want to be in the business and want to you know, get there and the, hear no a lot. The advice is if, if, you, if you, if at first, you, if you pitch a show and people don't want it at the time, just give up. Yeah, <laughs> just walk away. It's not gonna happen. I That's think the, the, the lesson here is uh, bullheadedness and stubbornness yes. and the inability to take notes eventually pays off. It just takes a long, long, a long, long time. time. So should I, is, I'm gonna take that advice and I'm just gonna walk away. Okay. <laughs> I'm out of here. Bye guys. Good. Bye. I'm done. I don't need to do anything. I'm going to have success, according to these guys. Okay. See you later. <laughs>